history of Israel. Let's go inside. Take a look. Unto thy seed. What do y'all see? You see black Jews, black Israelites working in ancient Egypt. Let's see what this is from. This mural depicting Israel's bondage in Egypt was found in the Theban tomb of Rechmir, governor and vizier at the time of Thutmose III, about 1450 BCE. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, in mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. Exodus chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. What color are these Israelites? What color are they? Well, I'm going to ask you again. Can somebody ask T.D. Jakes what color are the real original Hebrews? What color are the Hebrew Israelites there? This is ancient artifacts, ancient black. They are painted as black in the tombs. See, this history has been hidden, and T.D. Jakes, if he knows of it, and decides not to teach it, he's the devil, a black, ashy devil the Bible speaks of. And all of you in his congregation, y'all going to be down to hell and back, every last one of you that follow him. Keep up with these lies. All right, here's Harper's Bible Dictionary. This is page 331. In 701 BC, Assyrian king Sennacherib conquered most of Judah, including the fortress city of Lachish. The victory was recorded in remarkable detail on base reliefs at his Nineveh palace. This scene is poignant testimony to the plight of his victims, who were deported with only what they could carry on their backs. Uh, what does it say? Let's take a look at Judah. Do y'all see this? This is the Sennacherim guard. Look at the people of Judah. Look at, look at their hair. Look at their hair. This is a stone relief. Look at the little boy. These are not Caucasians. These are not Edomites. These are black men with cornrows. Ah, uh, 2A, I'm going to look at picture 1, picture 2A and 2B. Fresco paintings from the western wall of the 3rd century A.D. synagogues at Dura Europus, a city on the Euphrates River in Syria. Let's see. Hmm. Let me see who we're going to look at. Bear with me a second. At the right, 2B depicts Moses three times. From far right to left, Moses strides toward the Red Sea with staff upraised, leading the ancient Israelites out of Egypt. Let's see what Moses and the ancient Israelites look like. Bam! There's Moses. There's Moses there. Remember, it said it depicts him three times. Moses here, Moses here. And Moses here. Take a look. And the Egyptians are being drowned in the waters. The Egyptians are black. Moses is black. The hand of God is black. That's Aaron. There's a menorah. Moses and the 12 tribes of Israel. Moses again. Moses with the staff held over his head and the Egyptians being drowned in the Red Sea. Do y'all see this? So again, if y'all keep following that lying T.D. Thomas Dexter Jakes, I can't help you. He jumping around uh, Conan talking about he know who he is. He don't know who he is and neither does his congregation. The Israelites are black. Moses is black. The hand of God is black. Africa being an accurate description of the regions of Egypt, Barbary, Libya, 
and Bildegurit, the land of Negroes, Guinea, Ethiopia, and the Abyssinians. Abyssinia, that's Ethiopia. All right. This was published in 1670. 1670. Africa being an accurate description of the regions of Egypt, Barbary, Libya, and Bill Delgarid, the land of Negroes, Guinea, Ethiopia, and the Abyssinians. That's Ethiopia. Published in 1670. 1670. Let's go in. I'm on page 34. That's the original page, but in this book, it's on 31. All right, I'm going to start here. Many Jews also are scattered over this region. Some natives boasting themselves of Abraham's seed. It's talking about Africa. Remember, see the title there, Africa. Many Jews also are scattered over this region. What region? Africa. Some natives boasting themselves of Abraham's seed, inhabiting both, si inhabiting both sides the river Niger, or Niger. Others, uh, others are Asian strangers who fled thither either from the desolation of Jerusalem by Vespasian at 70 AD, or from Judea, wasted and depopulated by the Romans, Persians, Saracens, that's Muslims, and Christians, or else such as came out of Europe, whence they were banished. So it's referring to those Jews, those black Jews that were banished, those Jews that were keeping the commandments that were banished. Not all the all the blacks, but the ones keeping the commandments. Out of some, they were banished where from where? Out of some parts of Italy, in the year 1342, out of Spain in the year 1462, out of the Low Countries, that's the Netherlands, in 1350, out of France in 1403, out of England in 1422. These all defer in habit and are divided into several tribes, having no dominion, though both wealthy and numerous, but despised of all nations and so abominated by the Turks that they are not admitted to be Mohammedans unless first baptized and then other and then no otherwise made use of than to receive their customs and gather in their taxes all right is you see Spain there. All right, I want you to look at the borders of Africa. There's Arabia. Let me just come in closer. All right, there's Somaliland. This is the Horn of Africa. Ethiopia, called Abyssinia at this time. I want you to notice where they got the Jews located at. There's the Falashas there. Look over here, Yemen Jews. That's in Arabia. But I want to focus on Africa. All right. Tababan Jews. A pre-exilic Yahwism. That's for those that followed Yahweh. All right. Let's move over. Let's move over. I'm going to go down to the bottom. Look. Loando Jews, this is on the coast of Africa, all right? Mavumbu Jews, look, this is what I was just showing you in the other books. San Tome Jews, remember the Israelites was, the Jews were cast out of Spain and sent to San Tome or St. Thomas. That's that island right there. 
All right. Look, Levite cities. Where amongst the houses? You know, a lot of you Nigerians, you hate the houses. It's Cameroons. Levite cities over here. This is Nigeria. Night seat. N I G E R I A. Nigeria. You got Levite cities there. Houses. Levite cities. Levite cities. Beni Ephraim. Sons of Ephraim. Beni means, or Benai means sons of Ephraim. Okay? The Homi. The Homi Jews. Jewish traces all amongst the Ashanti. Judeo paganism. So these Israelites here were following pagan customs around Cape Verde and Senegambia. The Lam Lam, once a Jewish colony, Timbuktu. Let's go around here. Medieval Jewish kingdom. Jewish kingdom of Ganada. Let me go down. Let me find some of these words. Let me look. Mm. Let me go up along the coast. I'm going to follow the coastline. Beni Musa, son of Mo sons of Moses. Now, it's hard for me to see. Y'all know I wear glasses, but if y'all at home, y'all could spot some of this stuff before I do. Berber Jews. Berber Jews. Black Jews. And I want y'all to see this because this is what the so-called scholars put together. The Jews were cast out of Spain. Remember that history I've been showing you for a while. My eyesight ain't that good, but I'm just showing y'all this map. So if y'all see something, y'all can freeze screen it. Freeze the screen! <laughs> Israel immigrates here. Look at that. To Arabia. That's Arabia right there. Jewish traces. What's that say? Wasambara. Yemen Jews and Falashas. Berber, Moorish, and Negro Jews. So the white man knows the blacks are the Israelites. They know that. They keep this stuff hidden from us. 